Hello and welcome to the Furnace Core tutorial for Rig Removal. Rig Removal removes unwanted rigs or objects from a scene. Typically, to remove a rig or unwanted object from a scene, you'd require a skilled artist to generate and track in a clean plate in order to repair the sequence. However, this plugin should make the process a lot quicker and easier. We define a rig as a foreground element in a sequence that moves over a background element. The plugin will only work satisfactorily if it is possible to model the background motion by a global 3D transform. For example, if the background contains multiple objects moving in different directions, the results will be poor. The rig removal algorithm works by estimating the background motion between successive frames, ignoring the foreground object, which is highlighted by the repair method. The foreground region has to be masked through the whole sequence, either with a white shape in the alpha channel or by using the box region. And then using the motion information to look forwards and backwards in the sequence in order to find the correct piece of background to fill in the missing region. The size of the missing region and the speed of the background dictate how far away from the current frame it is necessary to find the correct information. For more information on GME and LME, please refer back to the Furnace Core introductory tutorial. Before you start the tutorial, you should have downloaded the relevant scripts and image sequences from the Foundry website. Once you have done this, open the Start Here script and we can begin. When you open the Start Here script, you should find an image sequence, which we are going to be cleaning up. Let's just have a look at this. The picture you see before you is going to be masked out through the entire sequence and we're going to be using two different methods of cleaning this actual footage up. The alpha method and the rig box method. Now we know what we have to clean up, let's bring up a node. Select your footage and I'm going to use the tab function, which is a shortcut. You can bring up the node whichever way you feel comfortable. Now when you first bring up the node, you will see it has two inputs and it will also give you a widget on screen. The first input is the source input, so connect this to your sequence. And you'll also find a second input, this is the rig mask input. Now this is optional as you can supply or create your own mask input for the rig removal calculations. When you choose the rig mask option from the rig region repair method. Now by default this is set to rig box which is giving you the widget on screen over here. Now for this tutorial we should select the rig mask alpha. This is the method we're going to be using for cleaning up the sequence. If we play through the sequence you can see exactly what needs to be done. Now if we select the rig mask from the rig region we need to supply a bezier shape to actually mask out the movement of the bird throughout the entire sequence. Let's just stop the footage at frame 110 and let's just bring ourselves a bezier node. Now I'm going to be using the P on the keyboard shortcut list. You can bring up the node whichever way you please. I'm just going to connect the input from the bezier to the sequence. Just look at the sequence itself. What we need to do is just do a bezier shape around the pigeon itself, not too tight and not too loose. And we need to turn this into an alpha shape. So if we check in the alpha channel by hitting A on the viewer, we can see we have ourselves an alpha map. Now it's important to note that as we have defined the foreground region which needs to be taken away from the background region, now this alpha map dictates that whatever is within this actual alpha in the white shape has to be removed and whatever is outside in the black area can be used to perform the cleanup operation. Now what we need to do is animate this throughout the entire sequence. So as the pigeon moves along the sequence, we simply move and 
adjust the bezier shape to match the movement of the pigeon. So we go along and do this again. Now you have to match this throughout the entire sequence, all the way from frame 70 till whenever the bird actually leaves the sequence, which is around frame 126. So here's one I prepared earlier. This is my pigeon alpha mat 1. So let's just delete the old bezier and we have our new bezier. And if we just connect the input to the sequence and view through the pigeon mat, we can see we have an alpha which has been animated throughout the entire sequence to follow the movement and the shape of the pigeon throughout the sequence. Let's just turn this into an alpha. Let's just check this. See, it matches up with the pigeon. Now, we need to connect this to the rig mask input as we have selected the rig region rig mask alpha repair method. Now, if we just view through the actual rig removal node, we'll give it a chance to perform the cleanup, which it has done. Now, we have a cleanup on frame 110, but let's just move the actual timeline ahead and see if there's a cleanup on the next couple of frames. As you can see, it has performed quite a cleanup. Now, if we render this out, we can actually see the results of this. So, go ahead and press render. If we play through the render sequence, we can see immediately that there is something wrong. We have a red repair fail marker appearing on the screen. Now, this is indicating that the cleanup cannot be accomplished. So now we have to go back into Nuke and actually change some of the parameters in order to fix this and achieve a better cleanup. So let's go back to Nuke. 